Paul Hurst come in, so your thoughts on the appointment? Well, we're delighted after the, uh, the lengths that we went to to identify a particular kind of manager that we were looking for this to take the club forward for the next four or five years, and we believe that Paul is that man. With him as well, he's a, uh, a young manager. He's done well at Grimsby, but it's like the next step, I guess. Well, to be, to be fair and, and honest, he first came to, our, to my attention when we played Grimsby. And whilst we were League One side at the time, they were conference, and I thought they gave us a really good run for our money, and we were very fortunate to beat them over the two games. So we had a very good chance to look at the way he sets his teams up on, a, we believe, a, limp, a smaller budget than we have, and I was very impressed with that. Once we became in the position that, that Mickey had left us, having done such a great job, um, we, we felt that we wanted to look for a young manager who would then take us forward, as I've said. And Paul came under the, the scrutiny of, of himself and another five that we thought would, would do this job for us. Was it a case of when you spoke to him that that was it, it impressed you with what you wanted to do? When I spoke to him um, after Brian had, had done the initial um, interviews and things like that, I was very impressed with his, his attitude, the desire, and I believe he will fetch the players in when it's, when it's the right time, who will have the right attitude for what I believe Shrewsbury want, and which are hungry, committed, energetic players, which we have all um, would like to see out on the pitch. Because he inherits a, a squad of players, which is good in quality, but just seems to be lacking that confidence, so hopefully he can bring that to us. I think w what has happened, and don't forget, it's only two weeks and two days since Mickey left, and we all, I think most people thought that Mickey had done a great job, but it was probably the right time for him to move on. Uh, we helped in that process, and it's been two weeks and two days, and we've taken the time that we felt was needed to look at what we require to take this club forward, and we believe Having done all the due diligence and the time that Brian's worked um, tirelessly over the, uh, even harder than me, which is very unusual, and um, I, I think we've come up with the right, right candidate, and I believe Paul and his assistant will take us forward. I mean, Timing-wise as well, there's still around about 90 points to play for, so there's a long time in the season to go. Well, if you remember, we took the decision earlier this time, having when Graham left us in unfortunate circumstances for me personally. Uh, we didn't have enough time, uh, to, and, and Michael Jackson did a good job, but unfortunately we got relegated. So this time we've looked at whatever we're doing, and we've decided the time was right to give a new person the time um, to, to, in the January window at, at the earliest, to, to get his players in. So we are determined to stay in League One. And I can understand the fans' frustration. On Saturday, it was clearly obvious. Uh, and I do applaud Block 19. I know how, how committed and uh, the way they actually support the football club, and I applaud that. And I loved the way that, that they're... And I did wave to them to acknowledge that I'd heard what they said. Uh, so I'm delighted now that hopefully we can get a manager that will bring us, us the success that they deserve. Sometimes people look at the ambition of the club, and in my memory, this is the first time that we've come to an agreement with another club to take their manager. Uh, it, it didn't help in the process of getting it done. We would have li loved this to happen on Friday and Saturday before the game um, with Northampton, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, we weren't able to do that. But I have to look at some of the the comments that I've heard, some of the things, but when I look at the football club over the last 20 years, we've come a massive distance and we've got every facility here. Um, we, we're not in the same position as most League One. I just wish some of the small band of dissenters would be less vocal and help the club, and instead of being so negative, help the football club and its main base of supporters to be happy with where we are and we will get it right or we will do our very best. Finally as well, a word on Danny, who stepped in to a hard job and has done a good task. We've had Danny in this morning and just Brian and myself have thanked him. It was an, an not a very enjoyable task for him. We all know that the players, in my belief, they're not performing to what 
we believe they can do. Um, I think they will now show us what they can do, I hope, uh, and that we will cement our position in League One and kick on. That's the ambition for this football club. Brian and I are determined to do that, and I think uh, with help and support from our supporters, we will do that.